Well, these two clubs have met in the first division twice this season. They've drawn both times. So there's always going to be that close competitive edge to every challenge. McQueen. Looks for Whiteside. Took it down beautifully. Turned away from Hansen. Whiteside! What a fantastic goal by the 17-year-old after 12 minutes play. Norman Whiteside. The ball played forward by Gordon McQueen. And just watch this. Norman Whiteside turns Alan Hansen. And in almost the same movement, having resisted the challenge, drives past Grobelard. Couple back doing that defensive job, which is just one of the parts he plays. Whelan. Kennedy. Whelan again. Lee's made a run across the penalty area. Souness has got Neil to his right. Craig Johnston out on the right wing. And Rush is coming in. Bailey didn't make it. Whelan. And he didn't either. A let off for Gary Bailey. He came out to meet the cross and didn't get it. As he challenged Rush, it dropped for Ronnie Whelan, but he failed to take advantage. Lee has got Souness just behind him. And that Souness. Player who takes a great pride in his own performance, Graham Souness. He was. Uh, quick to mention to me just before the players got changed that his mistake against Vidzev Lodz for which he blamed himself totally was responsible for Liverpool being knocked out of the European Cup his couple offside Leash to Kennedy. Again, seven red shirts forward. Here's Whelan. Turn it in. Oh, Rush came in near post, and Ray Wilkins made the clearance. But Gary Bailey initially did well to come and meet the challenge of Ian Rush. Alberston. Right side's back heel. Alberston got in well there on Neil, but Wilkins is finding he's getting caught in possession a bit. He found Moses in the end, Stapleton. Sets one up for Muren, it's going to run on. Wilkins, good ball, couple. Wilkins makes a forward run here for Manchester United. He got back just in time to avoid being offside. Here he is again. Whiteside's in there as well, and onside too is Moses. Can he play the right ball to Stapleton? Not really. It was behind him rather than in front of him. And a good opportunity wasted by Manchester United when Liverpool were a man short. Here's Lee and here's Johnson. It would be just like Liverpool to punish United for that. Lee again. Whelan to Kennedy. Johnston. Lee. Again, the outlet is the fullback. Kennedy. It's in! The man who scored in the Milk Cup final two years ago when it was known as the League Cup against West Ham. The man who scored the winning goal against Real Madrid in Paris in the European Cup final. Sammy Lee and Kennedy 
three strikes, left foot, going away from Bailey, who might have got his fingers to it, but you can never rule out Liverpool. They've come back with the equaliser. Side, trying to make a run and yet trying to avoid being offside. McQueen is over on the far side. This is Koppel. Moses. And Grobelar is stretching right side. And the goalkeeper got away with it. He didn't position himself well for the cross. It went beyond him. And Norman Whiteside, with a poor angle to aim at, headed the ball into the side netting. Forward by Souness, Fairclough. Wilkins with a touch. Moses. And they're trying to avoid the offside. He's onside. Gordon McQueen. Look at Robinar. Goodness me. High drama here. Robinar has brought McQueen crashing down. And he must have been. 25 yards out from his goal. The ball was equidistant between them, McQueen stretching, and Grobelar, yes, he took him quite deliberately. George Courtney was the referee here when Willie Young brought down Paul Allen in the 1980 final, and Willie Young was just booked, and so too was Grobelar there. The goal would have been wide open. And it still could be, because United have the free kick to be taken by Wilkins. A huge talking point there, but it'll be debated later. For the moment, extra time still loops. Wilkins. Oh, he was beaten by Whelan, and Liverpool could make it here. Rush to Whelan, throw them a little bit wide, and that should have been it, and they've made a mess of it. Almost have got an interception in for which he takes credit, but Rush and Whelan between them by Liverpool standards, should have done better and sewn the match up. Souness. Dalglish. Fairclough trying to get a touch on it. Again, Duxbridge was the important interception. Muren's the pass. And Whiteside's the opportunity. If he can check and just play it. But he couldn't. Lawrence beat him. And released. Rush to find Dalglish. Rush to his right. Fairclough in the centre. Kenny Dalglish is right through. Oh, what a good save. Dalglish holds his head. He might have preferred to get it further into the corner. But the goalkeeper got down to his left quickly. So, chance number one in extra time goes to Liverpool. As indeed the last chance of the normal period did, and they haven't taken either. A Milk Cup final in extra time, Liverpool trying to win it for the third year running. Manchester United having led for so long, playing with only ten and a half men really. Here's Delglish. Shot struck Makari. Kennedy. Whelan. And again, Whelan's curled it! Brilliant goal! Ronnie Whelan, who got two last year against Spurs, has scored the second for Liverpool today. 99 minutes and Whelan made it look simple but it's the sort of goal that if an overseas player had scored it we would all have said well where's that in the English game well he's an Irishman but as Gary Bailey took the near post position Whelan curled that beyond his left arm to put Liverpool in front for the first time in the final Piece of poor judgment by one of the Liverpool fullbacks, Kennedy that time. Totally misread the bounce. And Manchester United have refused to be shaken out of their stride. But Kennedy has put Fairclough through and he's onside. <laughs> Liverpool will look back, I think, when all the ifs and buts are discussed and feel that they haven't made the most of their chances at times. While Paisley might feel they could have wrapped it up the end of the 90 minutes and he will certainly feel that Fairclough could have done better in that position
Dalglish. Fair club in the inside left position. He's right through for the second time. His fair club. Good stop by Bailey. Fair club again. And the goalkeeper twice distinguishes himself. Dalglish releasing fair club, who was through for the second time. Again, not the perfect angle, perhaps. Bailey blocking and then diving on the rebound. When a team are as tired as Manchester United, it needs the goalkeeper sometimes to prevent the match going totally beyond their recall, and he certainly did then, and he's given Coppola a chance to search for an equaliser. There's still hope for Manchester United, when you think of the way they fought back here against Arsenal in the dying embers of a cup final four years ago. Gordon McQueen won't have forgotten that. He scored that day in that comeback. And he's up there again now for the free kick to be taken by Muren. And there's McQueen. Well, he may be back at centre half in this second period of extra time. He's still a central figure in this final. Stapleton's flick. And a good ball there by Whiteside, trying to find Muren. Well cut out by Neil. And Fairclough onside, his third opportunity. And the third time he's failed. Perhaps Bob Paisley will reflect that had David Fairclough had more first team football, he would have done better with those chances. But it doesn't matter now because Liverpool have won the Milk Cup competition for the third year running. Ronnie Whelan is their match winner for the second year running. Alan Kennedy has scored a goal at Wembley in this competition for the second final in three years. Liverpool's acquisition of prizes goes on. And what a good idea to let Bob Paisley, in his last season as manager, on his last visit to Wembley in that capacity, what a nice touch that he should lead the team up. I'm sure the players, among others, insisted upon that. This man has won 19 major prizes and he finishes up quite rightly and properly as a winner. And all Bob will say, I'm sure, is thanks to his players and the championship is still to come.